my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this I look here hmm? using the Nude Beach palette by The Balm. So I have used this palette a few times and I will do a spoil alert because you're going to hear my thoughts at the end. But I like it. That's all I'm going to say right now. Spoiler alert, I like the Nude Beach. So if you want to see how I created this eye look using this palette and then listen to the comments I have just in general about the palette, please stay tuned. We're going to start with bum 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 bum. How about some babe this morning? It's going to start out with brilliant, but let's go into some babe. Babe is going to be our canvas that we are going to pop off of. Now, Babe looks like it's got a little bit of shimmer. So we're starting with a shinier base. Next, we're going to go in with some bold. And these colors are pigmented. Yay, and the crowd goes wild. All right, we're going to pick up some Bodacious for the crease. take a little bit of a flatter brush and pick up some buff and some bright and kind of mix these two together. I'm going to go in with this color Brilliant and that's what's going to highlight under the brow bone. We're going to pull it in, kind of highlight right here, kind of a little baby C. We're going to pick up we're gonna pick up some brazen, and brazen it is. Okay, so this is definitely, now that I got it on, it, I need to go ahead and blend it out. So that is a nice dark color. taking the brush that I use the lighter colors on and just kind of softening that so it's a little bit softer here and less brazen over here less brazen over here and a lot brazen over there so as you can see the colors blend nice even when brazen was so dark that it was like oh my gosh it just take a little blending brush and work on it and it really lightens up nicely going back in with the color brazen For our lips today, I'm going to use Daffy's. For the upper lid, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs pencil in Earthquake. For blush, I'm going to use Max Warm Soul. It's like my go-to daily blush, right? It's just got a nice color to it. It's not too peachy. It's not too pink. It's just right. Then I'm going to grab the Fenty Beauty highlighter. I'm going to go with this one that's a little bit softer, but equally as beautiful. I'm going to go back to the mascara and I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs. So that completes this look. Well, as soon as I get rid of my little mascara bots. Thoughts. So I'll be back right back and tell you what my thoughts are. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining today as we used this nude beach palette. Ooh, have you ever been to a nude beach? Comment below. Um, actually, this palette came out from the Balm around the time that the Urban Decay one came out. And so it's like this one just kind of got pushed right up underneath that, swept right up underneath the rug. So anyways, as far as this palette goes, it's absolutely cute. It says life's a beach. You've got a nice mirror. It's nice and compact. 
it is kind of a cardboard finish but again it's absolutely cute so the colors on the inside is and I love how it's at allegedly at a nude beach and they cover all the important parts with color so we've got brilliant babe buff bright brainiac brave built bold bodacious breathtaking bootylicious and brazen so I have used now all of these colors not just in today's video obviously but I have used this palette a few times and I like it so the colors blend really well they're pigmented they don't have a lot of fallout which is nice with full pigmentation the pan sizes are smaller but that's okay because how many people really go through a through a full pan typically if you're in the industry collect collecting the different colors you're probably not going to but if you just like to get a palette here and there and you you would pan out on this one for sure so but i love it i mean it's absolutely the cutest palette the bomb does the bomb in all the work that they do i really like all of their palettes I've, I've i've got several of them and i'm never disappointed in fact i am a sucker for marketing so not just do they do a great job with the palettes but they also market them very cute i mean they're just friggin adorable that's all i gotta say but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the quick review on the nude beach palette and I do want to hear some of your comments below. Do you think that it is a definite dupe for the Urban Decay, Urban Decay, Urban Decay Heat Palette? I want to hear what you, you think. And have you ordered this Nude Beach Palette? Have you tried it? What's your thoughts? I'm looking to hear. So comment below. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.